All right, what is up, YouTube? Today we're gonna uh, go over how to pretty much hack Pokemon Go. Um, you know, whatever. You know, I'm just gonna make this video. Uh, I don't think it's right to hack Pokemon Go, but you know, if it's possible, that's what I'm here for. All right, first you wanna install this app, and uh, and it's best if you're running the latest Android. So you install this app and then you go into your settings in your phone. Let's jump into settings. And then um, I think you want to go into the de developer options. So if you don't know how to get into developer options, you want to hit your build number about uh, like, I think like seven times. You hit the build number, then you go back and go to developer options. And then you go down to uh, right there in the middle of the screen where it says select mock app location. You click that and then you select GPS Go, that app that you just installed. It's right there in the middle of the screen. I'm not going to touch it, but it's right there. And you want to set that and then, yeah, and then click the app. And then that, that should help you uh, pretty much hack. But now, now we're gonna get into how to really hack, you know, more than just, more than just having a joystick. So now what you wanna do is you wanna track the Pokemon. Cause we wanna go to like, you can use Poke Hunter. There's a lot of, a lot of websites. And if you can't find a tracker and that's all you're looking for, there's, you just gotta keep looking for them, man. They're, they are out there. There's freaking, there, there's all sorts of them. But, you know, this is a good website to go to. It's like PokeVision, if you ever use that. And just, you know, and then this is a Santa Monica Pier right now. Nothing too crazy. You know, got a Jatini and stuff. I mean, there there's a lot more Pokemon, but right now, I'm pretty much just trying to look for the good ones. Okay, and then if you do want to have a filter, you want to click save filter, and then uh, it'll show you which the Pokemon you're looking for. So what you pretty much do is you, you know, you find a Pokemon on like a Pokemon tractor and you just spoof to their location. But we're, I mean, once you got to this point, um, now I'm going to show you how to really do it because there's still more on how to hack. Um, right now I'm not going to use Pokey, uh, Hunter, and I'm going to go with this tracking app. This is, uh, London, what the hell, oh, LondonPogoMap.com. Uh, I'm not going to leave any links to description, no nothing. It's just going to be, this is going to be the video, and, uh, if you have problems hacking, then, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be one who's going to really help you out with all that, because... You know, I think it's it's I think it's unfair for other players who play this game to be hacking. All right, so we got you know some Porygons. I do need some Porygons. Um, I'm really looking for something crazy. Uh, London normally has better Pokemon than uh, almost anywhere in the world. Uh, let's see, we got a 44% on that Lapras. How about this one right there? Ice Beam is 17%. I'm trying to find a good Pokemon so I can spoof to. Uh, I think this one's good right here. All right, so let's let's try. Wait, wait, look, another another Lapras just showed up. Yeah, maybe I'll get this one. All right, I'm gonna go and uh, I'm gonna go and try to catch this Lapras. I know it has horrible IVs, but. I think it's just cool for the video. All right, so first, uh, you know, you find a Pokemon that you want, and then now you need to find out its location. This video is going to be a little bit longer because it's, I'm pretty much going to show you step by step on where to go. So this is the location where that Lapras is at. So first, I want to find out where it's at. A good way to tell is always looking at the river. It seems to be right spot dead in the middle of everything. 
and it's right, uh, A4, what the hell, this is, this shit's gonna be harder to find than it looks, okay, so now what you wanna do, you just wanna bring up that, the fake GPS app, um, make sure if you keep going to the Santa Monica Pier or something, you just want to save it in your favorites. That way it will take you straight to her. Now, now it's in London right now. And it's right next to the Pokemon too. I mean, this thing is like, let's see. It's right up here. Sometimes this app acts funny, guys. Um, I don't know of a better one. But, I mean, this one gets the job done, but this app sometimes is pretty annoying. Like, seriously, move, move that shit on my face. Oh, I really can't remember where that Pokemon was at. It was like... Something like that. I'm gonna click the change here. Uh, then it'll bring you an advertisement. Please, uh, if this video helped you out, uh, uh, this is an advertisement from the fake GPS Pro. Don't worry about that. And then there it is. You see the joystick right here? That's pretty much what you want to deal with. Um, please just give me, you know, a like and a, and a, a sub. That would be awesome if this video helped you out. All right, let's... Uh, Let's go check where that Pokemon was at. Alright, so we got two Laparasses. Took this Porygon. Five minutes to get it. Has Zap Cannon Charge Beam. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna go track this Porygon now because it looks a little easier to find that location while I'm doing the video. Because, uh, Right now, I'm just kind of, you know, trying to get it done fast. And most of the time, I mean, trying to find some specific area in London, a place I've never been to, will really throw me off. There's where I'm at, if you see that blue dot on the screen. So you want to see is the crossroads. It's on A400 and New Route. New Road. A400. Hold on guys, I'm trying to trying to track this Pokemon. Hopefully I can get it for the video. Yeah, it was like right here. Okay, I wanna say it was like right there. I think this is where the Porygon was at. Um I'm gonna double check just to make sure. And uh if this works right. When you uh, when you go back to the to the maps, it's just show your blue dot right where that Pokemon's at. So there's where I'm at, but where's the Pokemon at? Uh, okay, hold on. I know, I know, guys, this is going to take a while, but just bear with me. I'm still trying to track this Porygon. <clears throat> is that the one I'm looking for? Oh, yeah, I only got three minutes to get there. Yeah, I'll probably leave or uh, despawn. <sighs> God. Okay, it looks like it's a little bit south to me. One block south. Go in here. I'm gonna change the location right there. All right, that's where the Porygon's at. Now here comes for the fun part. But yeah.
before I click to change that. Now I just want to bring up Pokemon Go. Alright, since I'm uh, faking my GPS, this game will act a little funny. Uh, I know the Portagon's here, but you know the first thing you want to do is uh, before you you track a Pokemon and go catch it, you want to move your joystick. Ready? Come on, man! I hate this fucking joystick. You want to move your joystick to a pokey stop and just keep spinning it. If it spins and you get the items, then you know you're okay to catch a Pokemon. But if the game does something like that, sometimes you could get soft banned. So, you just want to hit another pokey stop. That'll probably fix it. Okay, it looks like I'm good. If you got, if you're playing this hack and then you end up getting soft banned, and when you skip, spin a Poke Stop, nothing happens, and the screen just like you know freaks out. What you want to do is, uh, you want to keep spinning the same Poke Stop over and over and over about 40 times until the Poke Stop gives you the items, and then you'll be. Uh, and then you'll be unsoft banned. I'll go over that a little bit right now. Like, let's say I teleported to Japan. If I if I teleported over there, I'm gonna get soft banned. But what you do is you stand next to a Poke Stop and you you spin it over and over like until until it gives you the items. All right, guys. Um, if you're still watching this, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. We're going to go track another Pokemon, and we're going to go try to catch him. I'm going to try to make this video around 17 minutes. So five, five more minutes, let's catch another Pokemon. This way, you, you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so first, what we want to do is we want to go back to uh, right here. And just to show us, you know, where the Pokemon are at. All right, let's see we got a, we got a Lapras up north. A couple more of Vaporeons. There's a lot of Porygons in London and Laparasses. 18 minutes. Did I catch this one? Oh, man, that one sucks. Okay, actually... It's easier if you're using this tracker to just hit the Google Maps because it's more accurate. Unlike that map is really hard to tell what the hell is what. An easy way to know like where it's at is just kind of look at where your dot is and the way the shape of the river is. It's right on top of everything. It's in a park, it's called Down Hills Park, Down Hills Park, by Green Road, Down Hills Park by Green Road. So then you want to uh, pick, bring up the fake GPS. Alright, it is like, it's right up here. Okay, so the Lapras is over here. So then I'm going to spawn straight to where that Lapras is at. Change my location. And now when I bring up Pokemon Go, I should get soft banned. And now I'm going to show you how to get unsoft banned and then catch the Pokemon. Make sure you are unsoft banned before you try to catch a Pokemon. Because then 
you'll get um, the Pokemon will run away. Like as soon as you throw the first Pokeball, he'll jump out and he'll run away because you've been soft bound. So all you gotta do is just, uh, I'll show you what to do right now. And then uh, we'll try to get this Lapras. And that'll be the end of this video. And if you have any uh, questions, comments, just, you know, write them down. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna look for a Pokestop. There's one right in front of me. So I'm gonna hit the joystick on the corner of the screen, walk up towards that Pokestop. And then you wanna spin it and nothing's gonna happen. You know, just keep spinning it. There's the Lapras. So right now I'm softbound, but I'm just gonna have to keep doing this until I get an item. And then I'll be able to catch that Pokemon. Cause if, if I try to go catch the Lapras without, uh, with being softbound, it'll run away. Remember guys, I really don't spoof a lot. Uh, you know, you think I, I do this over and over. Actually, I just want to collect the Pokemon. I don't even battle gems. I don't, I could, I could care less about Pokecoins. I just want to have every Pokemon. I've always been like that. Every time I played Pokemon games, I love to collect all the Pokemon. It's just nothing, you know, I fill up the Pokedex. So you just want to keep doing this about 40 times. And uh, I'm not going to fast forward, I'm just going to kind of show you, and then the game should like, it, it'll spoof out right now and, and it won't show my location, but at some point, this should work, you just got to keep hitting that Pokestop, you just spin it once, exit out, keep doing this until you get items. Sometimes this will take forever, sometimes it only takes a minute. There we go. So it worked. So now that I spend the Poke Stop, now I could catch the Pokemon and I'm not soft banned anymore. Oh man, the CP sucks on this thing. Oh well, it's still a Lapras. Alright guys, that's pretty much going to be the end of this video, but that's pretty much how you could do it. I don't know, I just want to go over, like, you know, my guy's stats. I mean, I don't even have a Tyranitar yet. I don't really spoof that much. And if you're, you know, scared that I might be spoofing to your location and taking over your gems, I haven't even won a hundred gem battles. Can I, can I try how it... Oh no, yeah, I have. I won 488. Okay. Um, I've only trained 60 times. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, I only have 70 coins. I'm not, you know, trying to take our gems and get coins. I think that's kind of wrong. You know, let, you know, be fair to the other players. Um, I'm only level 29. Even though I'm spoofing, you know, my highest CP Pokemon is a Rhydon at 27. I only have 42,000 Stardust. So, I mean, I'm not catching Pokemon every five seconds. I just, I just want to go track the rare Pokemon I need for my Pokedex and catch that Pokemon. And that's all I pretty much do with spoofing. To me, it's just to collect the Pokemon, that's it. And, you know, there's still people who don't spoof and are way better than I am, you know? But yeah, guys, I just, I don't, I hope you guys don't, don't abuse this. I hope you guys don't, you know, try to, you know, mess up the integrity of the game because you know, it's sad to say that, you know, this is cheating, this is hacking, but just, you know, try not to take it too far. The spoof, if you're trying to catch an unknown, just look for that unknown, catch that, and then I hope you just don't really spoof all the damn time, but, you know, whatever. 
Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them down. Ricky the Hacker Guy, out.